Hello and welcome foolish mortals. It is October, it is Halloween season, it's my favorite time of year. And I'm very excited and happy to pretend I'm a beauty influencer again, even though I'm not, because ColourPop, which obviously is not sponsored, but hey ColourPop, if you want to sponsor me, please. I love your products, genuinely. Uh, they came out with a Haunted Mansion collection. It's not as huge as the Lizzie McGuire one that we did earlier on. Let's open everything up here. Well, wow. OG YouTube. <laughs> This one is your Magnifico. There, there's this box. And if you want to take a look at that one, link in the description below. However, this one focuses on more of a capsule feel to it. This collection came with our eyeshadow palette and some lipsticks and lip gloss. We also got some Super Shock eyeshadow which came with some of the busts of our spooky little friends in the mansion. And of course, we can't forget Madame Leota. We got this glitter gel, which glows in the dark. I am completely in love with the packaging. I love that it says, Welcome Foolish Mortals. It's one of my favorite sayings, as we know. And as you open it up, you get the reveal of there's no turning back now. Obsessed. Within this color palette, eyeshadow palette, we have our Beware. And then we have 15 different colors. So you can see them highlighted below. We have neutrals like The Bride, Endless Balcony, Ghost Host. Then we also have a lot more of the glitter colors like Psychic Medium, Hitchhikers. And then below we have New Orleans, Ballroom Ghost, Hatbox, really great names. Taking a closer look at the Super Shock, we have Eyeing You which is a nice blue color. It's very mermaid-like to me, honestly. And then this one is called Stare Down, and you can see that they're all individually packaged. This one is more of a dark purple. This one is called Frightful, once again, individually packaged, and they all have the same color tones to them. But this color is more of a grayish black, and then finally we have Creepin. And this one's more of a tealish, grayish color. So you can see that how bright it is, it's very pretty. And we get to our lipsticks here. It's all of the Hitchhiking Ghosts and our Hatbox Ghosts. And the lipsticks, first up we have our Ghost Gus, and this color is called Hitch A Ride. Next up we have Urza, my personal favorite with the color Beware, which is really interesting because it's a much more of a nude shade, a lot lighter than the other two. And then we have Phineas with Summon Spirits. Finally, we have our Hatbox Ghost. It's our lip gloss, so the Graveyard Shift is what it's called, but it's a clear lip gloss instead of any color at all. And finally, we can't forget Mount Leota. This is our glitter gel, like I mentioned before. It does glow in the dark, although I don't feature it here. And it's very hard to demonstrate, but again, if you watch the Lizzie McGuire one, they had glitter gels, so I was able to apply that there. It's the same idea, but glows in the dark. Of course, since it is mainly eyeshadow, it is hard to demonstrate a review compared to how Lizzie McGuire had the blush as well, which I literally used that thing. It was amazing. Like I genuinely love that collection so much and I'm so happy that I bought into it. So I'm very excited to, I bought into this one, even though, you know, you're gonna wanna look undead while you're wearing it to fit in with the ghouls and the ghosties. Like I said, I love the colors. I genuinely think these are such natural neutral colors with a nice pop to it. I also will say, um, separately, I ended up getting another palette from ColourPop that I really use religiously, which was Nightmare Before Christmas theme. So of course, you know, my friends know me well and they got me that one and I am obsessed with the colors as well with that. So <laughs> the colors, as crazy as it is because it's such, a, it's such an affordable brand and compared to like designer makeup when you look at everything and the colors literally do pop. Like the name is ColourPop and they really, you rarely get the value for it. 
so I'm very excited. A lot of these colors seem to be a little bit on the similar side to the Lizzie McGuire colors. Like we have some nice purples here. I'm very excited for the glitter ones. Honestly, the ballroom ghost one, it just looks so pretty to me. That one stands out a lot. And then we also have the ones that are like a super shock value. <laughs> Which were the individual ones that I showed. The only unfortunate thing that I think of is of course because they're super shock colors, they're all individual. So this is one color alone which is so hard to carry in past experience when I wanted to pack different colors compared to this, you know, little individual palette, which is great and you have a lot more room, but I also know that you're probably gonna get a lot more with this in the long run. And these all have that really like glitter vibe to it because it is mainly eyeshadow. It's very hard to do all the eyeshadow as a review but just like with Lizzie McGuire I'm gonna pick a couple of colors just to try it out so you get an idea of it and same thing with the lipstick we have the three lipsticks as mentioned and the one lip gloss so this is and I like how they're a lot more nude colors although I'm not sure how this is gonna look on my lips so I might try all of them because I know that honestly either these two will probably look the best uh, I'm not sure how this nude one is gonna look so this will be interesting and then of course we have the lip gloss You know, I was literally just about to praise as I was getting ready to prepare um, That the one thing I love about the palettes is that they have a little mirror in there Which is really great for me to look the Lizzie McGuire one has one and the night before Christmas one has one But then of course as I'm looking at this and I'm not paying attention it doesn't so that's unfortunate <laughs> Just because it's so much easier, I can, you know, do my eyes and be able to look. No, because it's literally just an eyeshadow palette, this doesn't have it. That's sad. That makes it a little bit harder. Mm. We will do it in the camera, just like before. Uh, the one thing I'm also doing, so I already prepped my face with foundation and my primer. I actually used ColourPop foundation because I did buy that last year when I wanted to do something super deep. I literally got the palest foundation color ever because I wanted to do Wanda. I did Wanda. What am I talking about? I wanted to. I did Wanda for WandaVision uh, and if you haven't seen that one I will put a link to that below because I did that for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party which was fantastic even though it's so hard to get the body paint on but I loved it. So, so far so good! Like I said, uh, this is like a wannabe uh, makeup influencer when I'm not. Nothing is sponsored clearly, but feel free to take recommendations because they're really, the one good thing about doing cosplay over the years is that I have gravitated towards a lot of designer makeup for the purpose because it definitely is a higher quality and when I'm doing cosplay, it definitely helps with how everything looks. You have to put everything together, so, uh, Years ago, I ended up finding this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Seriously, if you just put your eyeshadow on straight, get this. Urban Decay, want to sponsor me? We can do makeup. We don't just have to do Disney here, we do makeup too. <laughs> but it's it literally is like life changing and it really helps bring the colors out even more so. So I'm gonna do this. Actually, I should do it on my hand, that's what I'll do. Okay. We're gonna do this instead. I wish I had a better background, but instead you can get a close-up of some of my Haunted Mansion and Night Before Christmas decor and decorations because we have our makeup here. So this is with the Super Shock. I just wanted to take a look here. I have a brush to do it. It'll focus to take it. I'm just gonna put it on my hand just to see. So let's see if this will work. Where's it? There we go, we got some color. Wait, this isn't really color. Oh wait, there we go. It's very subtle. I'm really curious now if they're all like this, cause this one's a lot darker. So let's do the brush. We got a lot more on that one. Oh, interesting. They are very subtle. Even though they're super sharp, there's the color of that one. 
but they definitely have a lot of glitter with it. So we have our colors. Uh, of course, I only normally do two colors, but let's see. Do we want to do the blues or do we want to do purples? I did purples last time. Very close up. Um, I'm really loving this ballroom ghost one. I'm so curious, even though it's lighter. So of course these two would go together, but I don't actually, I wonder if this would go with that. I kind of want to do those two. Let's do those two. Let's go for the darkest. <laughs> of course, it already makes such a mess. But it's so pretty. Wow. Okay. Hey kids, um, this is the only unfortunate thing too with a lot of the darker colors. And I will say it like as an honest review, you put it on and it's really all over your eye. That is why I always cover up with foundation again and more of the pow pressed powder I used. And then we're great. <laughs> so I need to get that. A few moments later. <laughs> this is my entire makeup kit. <laughs> it is filled, so yeah. Hey, makeup people, please feel free to sponsor me. I will talk about any Disney makeup that there is to stay on brand with this channel. Gotta clean up. <laughs> There's probably a better way to do this, but again, I'm not an expert here. I've never claimed to be. I literally just use makeup mostly, of course, for every day, but mainly for cosplay. So it's not like I'm using techniques that are to be beautiful. <laughs> It's more of like, hey, I want to like this character as much as I possibly can. But I like the color so far. I really like the color. I don't really do a lot of the dark colors, like the black, for that purpose because it really does get very, very messy and all over your eye. But I'm really excited to see the color dressed between the two of them. There's so many colors. I'm like looking at this. I really need to be showing it on the camera. There's so many colors. Like again, this can go really nicely with these. Again, I'm going to do these two because I want to see how this one looks. But like I said, the one thing that really stood out to me with this palette is how many neutrals, which is a little bit of pop color. So it's really great. It makes it very versatile for whatever look you're wanting to go for. I love that I'm looking at this, trying to like color it in. And it's so funny, I'll end up comparing this later, but the ghost host looks like the same I'm talking about comparing it later. I literally have the palette right here. I have my whole makeup with me now. This is my uh, Night Before Christmas palette here. So <laughs> I think a lot of the colors are similar now as I'm looking at it because this one is so used up. As you can see, it is actually smaller, but has a mirror, which I love. But it's cool because I can actually show you the colors here. So we have a lot of the same purples. There's more of the orange and the red-ish pinks in here but there's a black same thing with this one i think this one's a little bit more sparkly and then my lizzie mcguire one that we had which again is it's so used <laughs> it's so used i love the colors i'm i know i was so excited about it beforehand it's it's used with love i'm almost used out of the purple which was one of the ones i used i think when i first did the review clearly one of my favorite colors okay i'm like there I'm so overwhelmed with so many colors what to pick. There's so many pretty ones. Ah, oh, okay, the grand ball. I'm, I'm gonna be so excited to use this. I'm so excited to use this. Okay, anyways, we're, we're dedicating to our ballroom ghost color that I wanna try. Let's see how this is. Ooh, that's like a bright color. Okay, uh, this looks like I'm from the 80s <laughs> trying to do it. There we go, that's what I want, a little bit less. This is very pretty, but wow. How is this gonna look? I'm looking like Malin Lee Oda right now. All right, what's the big reveal? Okay. Uh, I really feel like I'm from the 80s. We are taking this off. We are taking it off. Yeah. These colors are actually deceiving because that's they really do are colorful. <laughs> they really do are colorful. <laughs> they really are colorful. So we're gonna do a much more basic color instead, like that attic one. We're gonna go with the seance circle to complement the hat box. Yeah. 
or the portrait chamber actually <laughs> so close up um I think the portrait chamber we're gonna do this one instead of that one yeah that's a good choice yeah this is so much more neutral blends in much nicer not that giant <sighs> bold blue although very pretty it's definitely a main color and not a side color basically done again this is why we're testing here it's not a complete product but I do want to try the lipsticks next um, I'm very curious of what this nude's gonna look like it's probably gonna be I don't know if it's gonna be a good color let's see hmm. wait okay it's not that great I figured it's not that great but it's not that bad I think because I'm super pale, this will be something that's much more like, it's a Barbie color. If you're doing like more of a Malibu look or something, not bad. Next one. We're just gonna go from, you know, light to dark. That's how it goes. Okay. Oh, this one's a lot darker. Wow. I feel like I look like a clown. Once again, this is really just like not prepped properly. What color is this one? I got this one, the Summon Spirits. We got the darkest one. So let's see how this goes. I don't know. I think I'm too pale. I think because I can't do the dark eyes and the dark lips because I just feel like a clown. <laughs> but it's interesting. It's not bad. Again, I think this is gonna be a really nice color when I do normal makeup. You can see how it looks on a very, very pale person right now. It's interesting. All right, we have um, the lip gloss. Let's let's end with the lip gloss. Again, I know we had a lot of lip gloss last time with Liz McGuire. Oh, it's never my favorite. At least I only have one lip gloss in this one instead of four of them that they all had. Mm. It's clear, but it actually like complements much more. Again, it'll be interesting to see how it'll all work out in normal day wear. This is a taste of what the ColourPop Potty Mansion collection is. So if you're curious to check it out, I hope I was able to help you with the color choices and you get a more realistic view of what it's like. I definitely love it. I am very excited to use these colors every day and I'll be switching it on and off between my other two palettes for Disney, so Liz McGuire and Night Before Christmas, and I have way too much makeup, but thank you for joining me. It's Halloween. It's spooky time. It's the best time of year. <laughs> I don't get to go down the horn ice this year, so instead this is what we get. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining as always, and I hope you guys have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.